Hello everyone and welcome to our show where you will hear about everyday miracles happening in people's lives. God is real and sends his angels to help us, especially when we pray to them. Today I have two stories, so let's begin. I'm writing about two miracles that happened while working on staff in our church's graphics department. While listening to these stories, you will probably think there's no logical way these things could have possibly happened, and you would be right. But I assure you, what I'm about to tell you really did occur. I believe these are two examples of what can happen when we listen to and obey our inner voice. Truly, angels can and do work with us when we're in the right place at the right time, spiritually and physically. So, here are my stories. It was in the late 70s and I worked as a production artist. There were office buildings sprinkled throughout the property, but our graphics department was the first you would see as you drove down the long drive into Camelot, a 268-acre property our church had just bought. As with all old buildings, when we first moved there, they needed at least some refurbishing, especially ours, because it was formerly the horse stables, which needed to be converted into a proper graphics department, complete with separate offices, working spaces, and large camera rooms, complete with paint and carpeting throughout. It took a lot of work, but once complete, all the graphics staff got a key to the front door and personal office, and we were immediately thrust into full book production. Sometimes our head of publishing, Florence Miller, needed to review a copy of the book pages we were working on. So, because we didn't have a machine that can handle it, we would have to carry the pile of page boards up to another office building a couple blocks away to copy them on their large Xerox machine. One day, Florence was in a huge rush to leave and needed copies of the book pages I was working on. So literally, I had only 10 minutes to gather the boards, run up, make copies, and get them back to her before she had to leave. A near impossible task to get done in time, so I really had to hustle. Instead of riding my bike up, which I usually did, to save time, I grabbed the car keys of one of my co-workers' cars and raced up to the Xerox machine. When I got there, I quickly grabbed the page boards, flew out of the car, ran in and got the copies made. Great, I thought. I'll just jump back in the car, race down, and I should be back in time. As I ran back out and approached the car, which I had left the keys in and motor running, I realized I had somehow locked myself out. No way, I yelled. Suddenly a voice said, Use your staff key. Without a moment's hesitation or any thought, I pulled out my staff key, put it in a door lock, turned the key, and up popped the door lock. I had no time to think about what had just happened. I just jumped in and flew back down to graphics just in time to deliver the copies to Florence before she had to leave. I believe if I would allowed one sliver of doubt to enter my mind, what I just witnessed would have never happened. Logic and the laws of physics obviously tell us that only a car key can be inserted into a car lock and only the right key will work. Believe me, I know, but it happened. But if we think about the other amazing things we see or hear about, this really isn't so unreal, but to me, it was a miracle. My other story isn't as amazing as the last. However, I do believe the angels also played an important role, so here we go. This also happened in our church's graphics department where I worked. As mentioned earlier, we had two large camera rooms, one of which our team of staff used daily for making black and white duplicates of images, book pages, artwork, and display titles. It was a very busy area that was divided into two sections. The outer, which was where we placed our original pieces to be duplicated, and the inner dark room where we shot the duplicates and developed the prints. One day, one of my co-workers was inside taking a shot, so I waited outside. As she was busy, I just kept pacing around the room waiting for my turn. A very clear voice said, do some push-ups. I thought, okay, I can use the exercise. So I got down on all fours on the carpet and started doing push-ups. As I looked straight down, I noticed something dark buried deep in the fibers of the carpet. I stopped and with my finger, dug at it until what popped out was a very finely cut emerald about as big around as a pencil eraser. I wonder who this could belong to. No one would have ever found this had they not been in that exact spot I was and just inches above to see it. It was truly a miracle that I found this jewel. 
I thought someone must really miss this and has been making the calls to the angels to help find it. So I put up a note on the bulletin board and sure enough, the next day, Martha, one of our supervisors, approached me saying it was hers. It turned out she had lost it over two weeks ago off a necklace she was wearing, which was very special to her. She had been praying to the angels to help her find the stone ever since, but was starting to lose hope it would ever be found. Needless to say, Martha was very grateful it was finally found, and I was happy to be of help to the angels in their never-ending quest to fulfill our every need. All we need to do is make the call to them, and if it's according to God's will, they are there to help. I also wanted to mention that it helps if we can develop a receptive mind and heart to what God is telling us. We never know what we may be missing with all the distractions around us from social media to phone calls and texts. Taking some time each day to put our attention on God and send Him our love will go a long way. Thank you for listening. Miracles can and do happen every day. How about you? If you have a special story you would like to share on this channel, please send it to us for a possible future show.